today is a big day, and therefore, I had to require something special. So before we begin, I will be making boba. This is the big event of the day. I got myself a Canon selfie, which if you don't know is a very small printer and it's beautiful. I also got a set with paper and ink. So today I'm gonna be unboxing these and setting them up on my desk. Well, this, not really this. So let's get started. As for a boba review real quickly, I think the boba balls could have been cooked for like another minute. Otherwise, like I like the rest of it, but like some of the boba balls are like kind of hard. So I need to work on that, but let's get into it. Oh, and sorry, I keep pausing, but before I actually fully get into it. Um, if you are looking into purchasing this yourself, I would get it off of Amazon as well as the ink and paper rather than like Best Buy or somewhere because the printer at Best Buy was $30 more as well as the ink. I think they were both $30 extra. So I got the printer for $99 and I got the ink and paper set for $30, I think $31, um, both on Amazon. Wow, this was was $60 at Best Buy and this was $130 at Best Buy so just keep that in mind. This looks like the tray. Oh my god the actual thing is so small. This is so small. directly insert SD cards and print from them. How cool is that? So this is the cord. It comes separated like this, and then you put this side into the printer, and it's just a two prong. It looks like it has some nice ventilation back here. So this is the side where the ink cassette will go. I have the ink cassette right here. I need to open up the ink and paper set. This is the ink set I got. Postcard size ink and paper. I went onto the app store and I installed the Canon selfie app. So they have different kinds of layouts that you can choose from. Um, here I'm just selecting pictures that I might print. I didn't actually end up printing all of these because I did have issues with the app later, which I'll explain. It says that the ink and paper is sold separately, but it comes with like a little packet of paper. It's basically just testers and like one ink cassette. So I was unsure about that part. So I just want to make that clear. I mean, you're still going to need to get another set. I just shuffled it until I had the photos where I wanted them and 
Then it switches to a second app in order to actually print it, and then I had to hook it up to the special Wi-Fi that I talk about in the end of this video. I was so happy with the results of the photos. The quality is so amazing and I love the finish of the paper. The quality is so good. So this is the largest sized paper that the printer can fit and this is photo paper so it's kind of glossy and nice. This is like from the little package of paper that came in it and I used the ink that was with it. These illustrations are by All Things Lily Ann if you want to look her up on Instagram. But oh my god, this thing is so cool. Like watching it print. I wish I could have filmed it, but I'm filming this video on my phone and you can't leave the page that you're on when it's printing, which is on my phone. So I couldn't actually get a shot of it printing, but what it does is it takes the sheet of paper, does one layer of yellow, takes it back in, does one layer of pink, takes it back in, does a layer of blue, takes it back in, does a layer of white and it's so cool and it's so small so it easily fits on my desk and I love it so much so originally I thought that there was gonna be a problem <laughs> and this was gonna be difficult because I accidentally printed it on the wrong side of the paper the first time and it was really light and didn't show up and I was like oh god but <laughs> I'm just stupid even though I thought I followed the instructions like I just did the side that it told me to do I'm just not that smart. So these are my first pictures and I'm going to cut them up and put them in a journal or something. So yes, this is the perfect journaling printer. You can just print small photos. They have an app where you can make collages easily. Both of these were using the shuffle feature with their collage, like with their layout app. And yes, I'm so happy with this printer so far. Even with this little acrylic thing around it, like I can still put this up and like it can function without having to pull it out fully because it's that small. My cutting abilities are being tested. So my overall thoughts on the printer, I so far really like it. Originally, I was skeptical, like when I was actually like putting it together and stuff. It took me a second to kind of figure it out, but I think I figured it out. You just have to connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi. It's like a special Wi-Fi. So you connect the printer to your Wi-Fi and then on your phone there, it's like your Wi-Fi, but before it, it's like the special printer's internet. I don't know, it's weird, but that's that's how it works and then I had problems I put the print the paper the wrong way but I figured that out and once I printed it for the first time I just saw the quality and I was like so yeah I really like the printer if you have any questions I can try to answer them down below thank you for watching this video I will see you in my next one thank you for watching goodbye